Hello, everybody. I am FDA. I'm Trey East. No, I'm a Conus fan. Yeah, not you line sack <laughs> shit. And welcome back to another episode of All Stars Gaming. Um, this is one I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's one I'm not expecting to last more than seven minutes. Hmm. This was a game I grew up with, I'm sure a lot of us grew up with, and most of us did not get past level three. I'm a fan, of course, to Battletoads. <gasps> the Battletoads? I press start to play. I was going to watch the intro so you can see that the sexy, sexy oh. villainess. We've had such issues recording this, I just wanted to make sure we got it to work this time. And it happened again where it's just you. <laughs> really? So, if you didn't know... Oh, hey! Oh, no, it's both of us! Thank I, God for that. We've had some issues getting Battletoads 2 player to work. Yeah. Which led to Gareth Googling how to do two player I, I literally had to Google how to do two player Battletoads, though. And I think I remember me and my brother having the same issues playing this as a kid. Damn, I can jump real high with my jetpack on. <laughs> With your fists out, you're one top toad. So, uh, I kind of interrupted your intro, but battle toads exist. But I still have the question: Aren't they all green? Why am I yellow? Because some toads are yellow, not all toads are green. Chris, you racist? I mean, green one's just better. Let's be Jesus. honest. <laughs> so I Pick guess. Pick up the stick. Yeah, yeah, I got a stick. So I guess I should say, I have no history with this shit. It's in Rare Replay. I played this in the arcade version for maybe a half hour each and went, oh, cool. And I never went back to it. Yeah, you know, it's... it's um. Oh, nice. Damn it. Kinky. It's it's kind of infamous, you know, for it, its uh, level of difficulty. PS3 exclusive infamous from Sucker Punch? <laughs> Interesting. Which, again, most... Um, at least the people I, I, I've spoken to, and, you know, I've seen bits and pieces online... Most people I know could not get past level three. Hmm. Um, there was a, there's a really good run and jump. You know, this looks hard. Hey, is there something behind the waterfall? Gamers love waterfalls. I don't think maybe I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I never I never wanted to try out because I'm scared. Um, there's a really good series on Cinemassacre called Bootsy Plays Battletoads, and he shows you all like the best ways to uh like complete the levels. Ah, cheat code. I think I just told all of those from you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> One thing I will say, Battletoads has a great visual style. And oh. soundtrack. The soundtrack's so fucking good. Is this the rare second-person perspective in a video game? Wait, no, never mind. Or is it? Eh, yeah, yeah, think about it. Soundtrack um, by... I, I believe this was David Wise. Ah, David Smarts. Which... which um, as We I, had a little confusing talk earlier about David Wise, but... Ah, oh, damn it, I died as a thing happened. I hate when I die when things happen. <laughs> um, people die when things happen. But, um, yes, yeah, so Battletoads, it's, I think it should be fairly obvious just from looking at it. Ninja Turtle ripoff. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Go Toadies, go Toadies, go. I mean, that owl guy is blatantly splinter. And the Dark Queen is just a sexy shredder, I guess. I think it's the hair and the pixel art, but I think Dr. Riley when I see him. Think who? Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Or Dr. Wowie, I should Dr. say. Dr. Wowie. Oh. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be fucked up in a few seconds. Yep. You gotta kill everything on screen. One of those you games. You each other. You, that, that's the thing, you can't hit each other. Yeah, which you were taking quite a bit some advantage of earlier. Oh shit. <laughs> like that. Help. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, so, um, Ninja ripoffs in, I believe, the. Well, shit. In the early 90s... Oh, fuck, my bad. You got in the way. Shuffle. The um, early Five Nights at Freddy's. In the early 90s, there was, I believe, a pilot commissioned by Deke Entertainment. Deke? I believe so. Uh, written by David Wise. Not the David Wise, <laughs> from who was the uh, composer at Railway. However, the David Wise, who was um, kind of famous animation, um, TV animation writer, who was responsible for developing the original 80s uh, Turtles cartoon. Get that. Kill him and then uh, steal his beak. I mean, or, or that happens. Help! Grab the beak! Oh. Deek beak. What happens if you grab the beak? You, you get. See, see what I have? You get a little sword thing. Ah! This is a. Uh, this is a game. I have no idea what the fuck's <laughs> going on, but I'm cool with it. I will I, say. I, I oh, forgot shit. all about this. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Uh, very level design, you know. Not every level is just a straightforward beat up. Though in retrospect, I kind of wish it was. I was gonna say, even the second level is like giving you something completely different. Oh, 
There should have been an option to turn off two player damage. Yeah, I could do without the friendly fire. So the battle toads can just shape shift. Is there like a war reason for that? Or is this, it just like cartoony wackiness? It's, I, I believe the official backstory is there were a bunch of gamer nerds who like got sucked into like some video game. And we're turned from into the, the real world! Something like that, yeah. And Chris, you're almost dead. Help, help, help. You yes, saying? <laughs> IRL and in this game. <laughs> Ugh, I hate gamers. No wonder this game sucks. I wonder how much they bitch on Twitter about stupid shit. <laughs> Player two. Oh yeah, I forgot there. to say that. When you game over, the entire thing stops. Way to go, Chris. Way to go. Press stop. Player two is the zits. It's rash, zits, and pimples. Oh, that's appealing. And I'm sure anyone who watched the AVGN video will know that like my lives don't replenish as yours do. And you only have a <laughs> you, you only have a set amount of uh, continues. Uh, oh, oh! I was hoping it was endless. No, so if you game over and I have like one life left, and then I game over, and that was the last continue, we're done for. Game over. Isn't this game great, Chris? Um, I love Rare. We should make TJ play this for a charity marathon. <laughs> I have the incentive be to get to the end to get or past else he cries. to get past level three. <laughs> Again, Sammy. Oh, you know, I, I, we're joking a lot about level three. Obviously, some people have completed this, but um, those sorry. Those Help. sections were notoriously hard. If anyone was good enough to get to beat this game, um, I did only with the use of a game genie. <laughs> if anyone was dumb enough to buy an Xbox One and smart enough to buy a rare replay, there's an endless mode of that. Of what the uh, the, bike, the, the, bike the level thing. three? Yeah. yeah. We'll, if we survive this level, we'll get to that. Yeah. The cool thing about rare replay, though, you can hold down a trigger and, like, on some games, you can rewind, like, the last 30 seconds of gameplay or something. <laughs> so if it... you fuck up, you can just, like, rewind it. Is that why it's called rare rewind? Uh, I always just assume... Replay? Oh, I, I was going oh, my bad. I think it's, like, a feature they tied into the name, but the idea is, like, oh, you're replaying all our games. Hello. Yeah, well. I, w I won't lie, when that, when that was announced, there was, like, 30 rare games for, um, 30 bucks... I was like, Oof, hey, for a second, it made me interested in, in, like, huh, in Xbox, Xbox One. Xbox, that's a thing that exists. I've never owned an hmm. Xbox console, never had any reason to, but 30 rare games, 30 bucks, that's that's a good... Be a great Switch game. <laughs> Awkward. Seeing as a lot of the games, you know, started on Nintendo. Yeah. And speaking of, to, to, give, some, to give some time frame, but the recording of All-Stars Game in Season 2. Oh, I yeah. I think people might remember in our first episode, we it, it, just, it had just been E3. <laughs> and we were talking about the NX and shit. FTCR. Yep. Dot the uh, Switch uh, comes out for retail in five days. And will probably have been out for a couple weeks by the time, by the the time this comes out. Yeah. Oh, it's a rare play. We're here to <laughs> say we're fucking five months away. Uh, duh. See, I'm thinking about it now, though. It's like, obviously, you can't put Donkey Kong Country and stuff on the Microsoft Rare Replay. But you could but, put it on a Switch. But Rare have worked with Nintendo, and Rare have even made DS games under the Microsoft tenure. They, so, oh, they have? Yeah, they made uh, Diddy Kong Racing DS. And that was Di them? I thought, I thought it was someone else that. DS. Yeah, it was them. Huh. They had like, a good DS team for a, a hot minute. So I'm thinking, like, what if there was a Nintendo Rare replay? Well, wasn't it? Wasn't it like the um, head of Microsoft was like, yeah, we know we don't have any, like we'll walk, we don't have any problems with Nintendo. We'll walk with them if need be. Yeah, I think the main thing was like we don't have a mobile platform. Cough, Windows Phone, cough. So they're like, yeah, we're cool, whatever. Because I mean, wasn't it? Wasn't it in regards to Banjo? It was in regards to Banjo being in Smash. Oh yeah, that Phil Spencer dude. He's yeah. in Xbox. He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was yeah, like, it was like yeah, 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 we'll walk with him, you know. To me, that makes. I don't get the people who are like Super Meat Boy. Let's put a character who's never been on a Nintendo console in Smash Brothers. It's like you people are morons if you think that's ever gonna happen. Um, he's an indie icon and deserves to be in Smash. I'll be honest. The fact that that Cloud is in Smash blew my mind. Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Strife. I'm sure that was horribly inoffensive what I just did there. Hey, Miwa, what's up? <laughs> you know that you know. that TJ impression we have. Everyone thinks me was a TJ voice. For me, some well, I'm just I'm just trying to oppress white people. That's why I did that. <laughs> I'm trying to make you proud. I don't remember this level being this long, but maybe that's also because we suck. So 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 when you played it on rare replay, how far did you get? I got to the bike level. Oh, okay. Did you ever play this? But that part of that was because I could rewind the game when I fucked up. You know, so I I, I would. Did you have? Do you have like unlimited rewinds? Yeah. Pretty well, sure. 
Well, then I'm surprised you couldn't get past the bike level. I uh, just disinterested at that point. Gotcha. Honestly. Yeah. I was like, okay, I, I get that. Kind of get it. Fuck. I have way too many games. Where I'm oh, like, I'll get back to this someday. And do. Oh, my, half my catalog is just. <laughs> I'll finish this some point. Not skins. Wow, that's my kind of lady. He just seems to have a picture of her all the time. Like, is she watching him at this point? I just assumed they were Skyping. I didn't think it was like a still image. He's on, he's, look at her, yeah, I think she's on, he's on one of those like live webcam <laughs> websites. He's like, hot single was in my area? My oh, man, my I didn't know they were any in space. <laughs> the Dark Princess has logged on to myfreewebcams.com. <laughs> yes! Huh, you look different than in the picture, Mr. Vulture Dude. No, I swear, it's me! <laughs> oh, it's I'm 26, a, I swear! It's just been a few years. Beat up the Space Invaders. Oh, you, oh they still get They still your fucking hell. Get it. Get it. Oh, it went to me. Fuck what? you. What? It looks Space Invaders steal your health, bro. That's, that's against everything I stand for. <laughs> morally and ethically. I'm gonna kill oh, this rat. Oh, so what sucks about stuff like this is that sometimes if you get, like, a rat stuck at the corner... And you go get the health, and you go to like kick it in. You could you could do your big booty thing and jump off the platform. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, I love, well, as we learned in Shadow, I do love jumping to my death. So. Battletoads is a game where it's like, in a certain respect, kind of like Heroes. I I love the idea of it. Uh, this that's probably the first time anyone's ever drawn that comparison. It's like kind of like Sonic Heroes. It's a game where on paper a lot of things are good. It's got a lot of good ideas, you know. Um, unlike Heroes though, the the control is pretty decent. You know, they, they move yeah. fluidly, you I like, know, punching, I like jumping around. punching thing, you know, they, 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 there's a nice bit of weight when you finally smack something. Oh. oh, speaking of smacking something, we're about to smack into something. We're Does both it, about to die. Do we hurt each other if we run into each other? Yeah, No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's fine. At least I think so. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, we're already doing so great. What are you worried about? <laughs> this is easy. Oh, famous last words, Christopher. Famous last words. Well, is, way to go. Is, way to go. This is easy, Garth. <laughs> Come on, Garth Brooks. What are you talking about? <laughs> See, Chris, that is why you get paid the least on FTCO. <laughs> wow, well, I didn't know you could get less than zero. <laughs> we charge you to be in these videos. How oh, do we have to pay for the gas? <laughs> so. Okay. I yeah, it would be smarter if I get yeah, like, the most possible time to react. Oh. 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 Help! I hit the edge of the screen. <laughs> it hurt. I look so happy though. I'm ready to go. Clearly, I'm ready to go. Oh dear. Oh. See, I got one life. You don't even get to start at the bike section. Nope. Heckin. Heckin. <laughs> or rather, Heckin Two for the PlayStation. I don't even know. <laughs> so, these guys showed up in the new Killer Instinct, or one of them did. Oh yeah, it's a playable so character. Ask, and Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to get that. Which, yeah, yeah, again, which again, it was like, you know, if, if I had an Xbox One, I, I would totally get the Xbox One version of Shovel Knight. I don't give a fuck about Kratos, or get that. Oh, never mind. What did, what did the, um, the Nintendo just had the, the Amiibo, didn't they? Uh, yeah, which got you yeah, co-op mode or something, and some other things, which, you know, that's kind of nice for all platforms. But... So, so there's no, there's no co-op mode for any other platform? I don't think so. That's dumb. Okay, get the Amiibos. But I think, okay, yeah, so what I was getting at, as a Battletoads, like, fan, obviously, or at least someone who likes Fuck. the characters and things, would you want to see anything done with this, or do you think it's best left as is? I, you know what, I would love, I would it love... seems like a product of its time, in a way. I would love something like, um, when Way Forward did that, um, drag, Double Dragon Neo. Do something like that. Do, do, do... Uh, Neon, I think. Neon, yeah, do a, a download game. Couple levels, curve the difficulty. Don't make it as you know. Although I'm sure, rarely well, make, make it as hard as possible. For it to be very hard. Yeah. So pretty much what Sega should do with almost all their shit. Yeah, pretty much. Although I, I'm, you know, maybe uh, there has been a, you know a lot more Battletoads content. I mean, yeah, it has been relative to them being put in other games and then the replay. But um, I'm even surprised Rare did that. Yeah, like that Xbox dude even pulled a Sony and like wore Battletoads T-shirts and T-shirt. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, there's something up with it. Rare is still working on, like, two other games they haven't announced last I heard, so... Oh, I think it was a big thing before E3, I think. 
think Ash Portion maybe was like it's gonna be Battle Toads. It's gonna be Battle Toads. We're gonna get Battle Toads. Somebody it may not be in here, but it was somebody's like, we're gonna get Battle Toads. And then it happened, I was like, so how about them Battle Toads? So I wonder if it's like an actual thing people heard or if it's like call game stop to pre order or about actual life? like an actual joke. Like it's yeah. not actually happening, we're just gonna fuck with people. Like remember that time someone Saw Super Mario Galaxy 2 behind closed doors before it came out. It was like, yo, there's a Sonic world. Oh, my. It's shaped oh, like his head. Yep, I had. Um, <laughs> I, I went to school with a guy who was who worked in a game, and he would say all kinds of stupid. Like, he tried to tell me there was a. He would lie about fuck. He was lie about shit. <laughs> like, he told me there was a Sonic Underground movie where um, they met Shadow the Hedgehog. He told me there was a Donkey Kong Country 4 where Dixie was pregnant with Diddy's child. Oh, my fan fiction. Gotcha. She told me, he told me there was a trailer for Mario, Super Mario Galaxy 2, which had Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Level in it. It was, it was like Green Hill Zone. Man. So yeah, that's why I don't believe anything. That reminds <laughs> me of the shitty neighbor I had. We were watching Digimon one time. He's like, yo, my aunt has a VHS where Pokemon and Digimon meet each other. And I'm like, oh? I'm like, oh? I want to watch that. He's like, yeah, I'll bring it over next time. He never came over and again. I badgered him for months. He's like, oh, I keep forgetting. I'm like, it's not real, is it? He's like, no. I just want it to be I'm cool. Like, why would you make this up and lie to me? And I stopped talking to him forever after that. <laughs> and that person was TJ. <laughs> That's why he's not here with us today. <laughs> Ow. Don't hurt the battle, Toad. I like in that game over screen, he was like, it's okay, guys, rest. I'm calling the battle hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's what needs to be done with the series. Battle Toads versus the battle hamsters. Well, you say that they did. for New York. There was a Battle Toads versus Double Dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which I believe that's not on Rare Replay. Correct. I'm going to assume they've done out the rights to Double Dragon. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Didn't they just make a Double Dragon 4? I believe so, yeah. I, believe... I heard it was kind of bad, but well, maybe I, that's I, where should I, go. At the time of this recording, um, our friend Clement is LP in Double Dragon Neon. Oh, and yeah, I believe yeah. he referenced a Double Dragon 4, which I believe was, it was like a Mega Man 9 thing. It was like all retro and shit. Yeah. New people got the license and they're like, let's make a game, I guess. I think it's the King of Fighters people. Which, I haven't really played those, but there's like 14 games, so they got to be doing something right. <laughs> I oh, unlike you. I hit the jump Oh my button. god, Chris. I hit the jump button. Maybe we should call this a day. Because I don't think we're getting past this shit. We did twice, alright? Well, I meant the stage. We, we don't know that, Chris. We're going to try. <laughs> or, Stop <laughs> fucking up. Help! <laughs> I'm just so fucking what you do all the work, man, buddy. You're so fucking tough guy. I should pick, pick you up and jump across the stage. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you get across this <laughs> fucking bit. But yeah, it's like, I guess. Oh, you fucking dick! Help! It took one of mine. Oh, I, that ain't cool. It took my eye. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's a thing where like this this type of this type of genre isn't really a thing anymore. Unfortunately, this was one of my favorite genres growing up. It was kind of coming back around Scott Pilgrim time, then it just kind of went away again. Is that, I, that's the notable example, but Scott. I, mean, I feel but, like I remember other beat 'em ups coming out around that time. There, there was a few, like there was a uh, Scott Pilgrim. There was the remake of Tales in Time, which was a travesty. And we don't speak of that. There was a remake. Yeah, like a port or no a remake. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. That's bullshit. <laughs> um, yeah, Ubisoft. Um, at the time, it was, it was around the time of the Four Kids show. Ubisoft, I guess, got the rights to just like the name and the level designs. And we did it in 3D. Um, though it's a thing because it's based entirely on the arcade version. Mm -hmm. It's inferior to the Super Nintendo. Oh, because the Super Nintendo had more levels and like uh, more shit like that. I had never heard of this, but I don't keep up with Turtles, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, and then you know, Double Dragon Neon. Um, again, why? Like, why say? I, mean, I, you know, I think we've talked about this before in some Street Street of Rage. Rage. But wasn't there? I swear, at least in two different times, there's been plans for like a street, like a Street of Rage. Yeah, I like think we, download or mobile games. I think we talked shit. about it at that point. But mm. There was something Street of Rage going on. Then they had like this shared universe project they were trying to get off the ground. What was just Sega? like how you got off the ground? <laughs> yeah. So like, like Knights and Street of Rage and Golden Axe will exist in the same universe. Yeah, I think the specific games they were making new entries for was like uh, Streets of Rage and a new Golden Axe, and they were going to like interact with each other in some ways. That sounds terrible. I guess they were looking at the Marvel the template. Oh my, don't do that. Streets of Rage and Golden Axe should not mix. There was some screen. There's a screenshot out there. Is it official or is it like fan made? I think it's official. It was like a work in progress the developer posted in like a portfolio maybe or something. We can look it up. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen here. Hooray! We checkpoint. Uh, okay. 
Oh, so if we die, we start there? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Why not? Sure, it's yours. Okay. Do you have to hit jump on those? Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't do it the first time, and I was like, okay, I guess that's fine. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, saved I, I, you, I saved you there. I died during your death. <laughs> True brothers in crime. My, so I, I my gotta, death saves your death. So I gotta ask. Obviously, <laughs> I'm awful. There's three battle toads. Yeah, what one's captured? The the, the, oh, plot, the plot is once like there, there's a good princess well, who's essentially the April O'Neil of this franchise. There's a good princess. One of the in, in the intro cutscene, which we didn't watch this time. Um, <laughs> One of the battle toads and oh. the like, good princess are like driving out in space, and then the dark, pr the dark queen kidnaps okay. her. Is there ever a way to play as the third one? No. And walk up to another? Dang. Well, I, I, and on the NES, one I've been able to do anyway. I think on the arcade you could select between the three. Yeah, you can. I just didn't know if like, oh man, I like uh, pimple. Maybe I can they walk all play the up. same. Well, you know. Oh fuck this! <laughs> okay. You good? You good I, to I'm, stop? I want out of the turbo tunnel. We we played Battle Toads. Maybe someday when the Xbox is over, we'll check out the arcade version. But um, I th you know, let me kill you just so we can be done with it. Because I think we should just be so I can be done with it too. Please, we should be at our last. Fuck me Continue up. soon. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! In the groin! In the groin! My favorite place to be assaulted. I guess. Not Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Let me join you. <laughs> Throw me into the ball pit. There we go, game over. Yeah! <laughs> game <laughs> over! I'll warm your milk for you, cry baby. What the fuck? Okay, I know I'm done. Fuck this. Okay. Join us next time on All Stars Gaming. Goodbye. Mode change.